Hello everyone, Suzu Gamer here and welcome back to another War Thunder episode. Today we're gonna reveal one of the Battle Pass Season 2 vehicles, which is T-55E1 4.7 Premium Tank Destroyer. You can get this vehicle if you purchase the Battle Pass and you reach the level 14. You're not receiving the coupon of this vehicle, you're receiving it directly. What is so special about this vehicle? First of all, its look. It's a second modification of the T-55 which is much more compact unfortunately we're missing the machine gun i really expected 150 cal on top of it we couldn't get it so we're pretty much defenseless against r3s but because of rbr 4.7 we don't see them that much here like if it were 4.0 like italian breda i think it would have been much more chaotic to play with this tank what kind of gun we have we have the same gun and shell of the m10 which is another tank destroyer our biggest advantage is our speed we have pretty much decent vertical guidance bad horizontal guidance as you can see in the footage we did some tests the most popular wheeled tank hunters in the low br which is puma breda and by the turn time t55a1 is the slowest by using our speed we can get to the sneaky spots and yes i'm recommending with this vehicle camp uh, be a rat otherwise you will die we have open roof our cruise head is exposed from sides from every direction so even if you use the beautiful vertical guidance of the sparrow your cruise head will be still exposed and enemy can just kill you with their machine guns which usually what happens speaking of crew we have four of them one gunner one driver and two loaders with aced crew we can reduce our reloading time to five seconds is the penetration enough for the 4.7 yes so that means if we get an up tiered with t55e1 we're basically bringing the m10's cannon to the 5.7 br penetrating frontal plate of the panthers tigers becoming really hard from the far distance it's a decent wheeled tank destroyer of the low tier us tech 3 which is absolutely what it needed because germans have puma italians have breda so i hope this tank will bring some balance to the gameplay we're not immortal our biggest enemy are machine guns and also plane strafes survivability of this tank is really really low it might seem compact but we actually have the same size as the italian breda yes you can still carry matches with this thing but you need to completely focus on surviving and positioning of your tank our max speed forward is 80 kph, our max speed backwards is 53 kph. On grassy terrain, cruising speed is 50 kph. What is really surprising about this tank, it's repair cost, which is hilariously 790. Yeah, compared to ITP's 12,000 repair cost, we have only 790. Awesome! It doesn't like muddy and snowy maps. So yeah, it's a funny tank, uh, purchasing it. It depends on you. But yeah, I hope this video helped you to make your decision. Enjoy rest of the footage. Gonna see you next time. Peace out.